Welcome to another episode of the 64-Bit Legends. We are back once yes. again. Back once again. I am Bobby, the best in the business caboose. As always, looking for that hot tag. I'm hot tagging it in. Melvin, they reminisce over you. Troy. Yes, they, they will reminisce over me. It's a known fact. People reminisce. They reminisce while I'm still in the room. Yeah, they do. It's a big, it's a big deal. You're, you're like a CL Smooth <laughs> or a yeah. Pete Rock. Yeah, I'm a CL CL Rock. They call me. Your combination. Cl- I'm, I'm a the, clock. Com- a clock. <laughs> I'm or a cock? clock. I'm a both. All right, it's both. You're the you're, you've got the <laughs> cock clock. Yeah. Girls look at your dick to know what time it is. Yes. Yes. It's like whoa. It looks like it's twelve o'clock. <laughs> because it's pointed up. Yep. It's pointed up. <laughs> you know. You know what? Someone's. I, this is way off topic, but yeah. this is kind of. Someone said this to me yesterday. We don't really have a topic yet, so this well, might no, be had, on topic. Well, you had a few things you, well, know, you mentioned you wanted to talk about, but before we get into we all that, we haven't established that yet. So the the so yeah, last night somebody said something to me. I forget who brought it up uh, in this group, but they said you don't want to waste. Somebody somehow said the phrase you don't want to don't waste your morning wood. All right, and oh, you know what it was? We were talking about stopping your pee midway like if you ever like yeah you start peeing and you're like oh shit maybe yep. maybe you wake up and you in the middle of the night you stumble into the bathroom and you then you're like oh shit i'm not maybe i'm not aiming correctly or something right and so you want to like, stop it midway and um i was saying one person said well i just put my thumb over my my pee hole and i was like i what i don't do that doesn't that just all. spray everywhere i would assume i would assume i'm like no i just i clench my muscles yeah. and a slowly it's not an immediate cut off right but it'll slowly kind of like it hurts it's uncomfortable but you can like get it to stop for yeah. a minute so that you can like readjust re-aim you know figure out a solution to whatever's going on right and uh we had this whole conversation about that and somebody said uh, something about a pee boner and don't waste your morning wood or something and um, and this whole conversation, <laughs> this whole conversation broke out about Morningwood, and it was like, well, do you want to start your day? You know, I was like, well, because a couple of us were single, and we're like, well, you know, there isn't much to do with it, because especially if you're not, I get it if you're like in a relationship, then yeah, yeah you want to take advantage of that. Like, you know, you're, you you're in the mood. You know, yeah. You get, you get something get going. Some pussy in the first thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Or some but, head or something. But yeah. yeah, but if you're if you're like if you're by, by yourself, it's like what are you gonna do? And and then one person was like, well, you could just like, you could just you know jerk just it. jerk it. And then that's and I was like, yeah, but I don't want to start my day in shame. You know, I don't want to be like, oh, now yeah, that felt good. But then it remind then then reality comes flooding in and being like, look at you, look at what you just well, did. Well, it, it could get you off to a good start. It clears your mind, and you're like, all yeah. right, it's like it's like Wolf of Wall Street, man. You gotta you gotta get those numbers up. You gotta get yeah. those jerk off numbers up. I don't know. I so anyway, the so this is this is how it's all gonna connect here. So we went around the room, and one person was like, no. I, so what do you do with the morning wood? And he was like, well, I just I just lay on my I just lay on my stomach. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why? So you put pressure to get on rid the wood? Of, yeah, to get rid of it. I'm like, aren't you just putting more th- friction on it? Yeah, so it I'm stay like, up? what are you? Are you like humping your bed? And I'm like, no, no, I just like, I just lay on it until it goes away, and that that blew my mind. I was just like, oh, that's a that's a weird tactic. And this guy, by the way, I think is like engaged or something. Okay. So it's like, well, wait a minute. Why are you just like just laying on? Right. It? Like I don't even. So anyway, you mentioned. That's well, what I thought of all of so that. When you, but out when of you, this, when you take a morning wood piss, yeah, doesn't your dick usually go down? Um, because well, like like when I have morning wood and I piss, yeah. like my dick will go down. It well, kind of. So for what I notice is, it has to go down in order for me to pee, because it won't it won't allow it to. For me anyway, I can't be fully erect and then be peeing at the same time. It's gotta it's gotta drop a little bit. And then once it kind of like, once it deflates a little, then we can get the, because it's almost like I, I imagine. Yeah, you're just shooting it. Well, well, I imagine the way it works is like, there's like, and I know it doesn't exactly work like this, but I just imagine like, like, like if you're, you're erect, 
like the valve is in shutoff mode. Like nothing's going to be, you're hooked up to a different pump at that point okay. or a different different hose line, right. right? And then as it deflates, now you're reconnecting to a different hose line. I don't think that's how it works, though. I don't, I, I don't necessarily think that's technically how it works, but that's... That's the idea of that that it's always seemed to work for me. Like I know it's still all connected. There's not like a mechanism in there that's shutting one off to the other. But I just think that there's you, you can't I can't just I can't just pee uh with a boner. It ain't, well, it ain't happening. Well, I'm in the business of uh peeing in bottles a lot, right? Oh, really? It just, you know, with with my job, there's not many uh sometimes there's not a bathroom around. Yeah. So you know, you got to pee in a bottle. And okay. sometimes when you pee in the bottle, like, it's going to fill up pretty quick. Right. Like, I've learned that, like, if I, like, you got that, you know, what is it, 12 and a half ounce bottle of yeah, uh, yeah, water. Yeah. If I pee in one of those and I'm still going when it hits the top, I can shut it off. Oh, really? And then it'll go away. What? Okay, well, that's... So, like, if you get, like, 80% of your pee out, it will, like, kind of just go away until the next time you have to pee. Or at least that's for me. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, okay. So I've that I've that I've kind of done a little bit, uh, where where there's times where like sometimes okay, this actually brings me to something I was going to talk about. So this again, I'm going to take you. I'm going to tell you one story so yeah, it connects we, to another. Yeah, we went. We're yeah. going around the world yeah. to get to the same destination. So so the other night I came back. Uh, it was on uh, Sunday. This is Memorial. You know, yesterday was uh, Labor Day. Yeah, not Memorial Day. Labor Day. Yesterday was Labor Day. On Monday, uh, we're doing this on Tuesday. Sunday night, I come back from uh, well, barbecue, and I had to stop over at Walmart to go pick up a few things. And I was like, you know what? I really want to just pick. There was a White Castle nearby, and I was like, man, I just want to like smash on a bunch of White Castle. Burgers. Haven't had that in a while. I know, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Number one, food is getting expensive. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, White Castle burgers used to be like, I don't know quarter yeah 30 cents a piece now they're like 80 cents or something yeah it's almost a dollar like it's so it's like no i don't want to do that it's a waste of money trying to save money trying to be i'm not necessarily trying to be healthy but i just want to like have like a snack i want to indulge myself real quick yeah um i went to burger king the other day Mm -hmm. and um got like they have like a two for ten like i got me and my dad some food yeah two for two for ten meals and they have like selections of the burgers you can get well i got the big king burger I don't how, even know what that is. How big do you think the Big King should be? Uh, well, with the name Big King, I would imagine it's something the size of a Whopper. But I know a double Whopper, just the meal on its own, will cost you like fifteen dollars. Right. So I'm thinking it's the size of like a Whopper Junior. So this Big ki- Big King in quotes <laughs> yeah. is the size of like it's smaller than a McDouble. Really? Like it's on par. With like a regular cheeseburger, oh, yeah. I guess uh, the regular cheeseburger is the same patty as the McDouble, probably. Mm-hmm. So it's probably the same size of a McDouble. And like, so I got home, and I'm like, I, you know, they they wrap the bag up, so I couldn't see the size. I got home, and I'm like, how the fuck is this supposed to fill me up? Just one burger, this little like this little fucking thing that I can that eat was, in like that, four bites. That was half of the ten dollar thing. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, the man. Fuck, man. It's expensive. That shit. I mean, you get a Big Mac meal, at McDonald's, a Big Mac. Now, Big Mac meal. Is it the Big Mac is not a bigger patty? It's the same patty right. as like a fucking regular hamburger McDonald's, a cheapo one. That's ten dollars now. Yeah. So knowing that, I was at I was at Walmart. I had to buy, I had to buy, I bought like an air filter for my furnace and stuff. His seasons changing, you know, and it's falls going to be coming up, and uh, some other falls just, approaching quickly. Yeah, there's some other random shit, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do because it's cheap. I got just a a box of cereal. Captain Crunch. I just wanted some Captain Crunch. Some Captain Crunch. And I didn't get the family size box because I don't want to eat it for days. I just wanted it maybe for a day or two, and there'd be just enough in there. Yeah. Because I make a Did big. Did you get bowl. normal Captain Crunch or like peanut butter crunch? No, no, normal. So I like normal. normal. Peanut butter crunch is where, how, I, how to go. I don't want all. I don't that know stuff. if I've ever had regular Captain Crunch. I I like that stuff, but I'll eat just I'll just eat regular Cheerios. I don't need Honey Nut Cheerios. I'll just do regular Cheerios, like fucking corn checks, corn flakes. I I don't mind that stuff. So anyway, I get this Captain Crunch, and 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 there's a thing that's happening with cereal, cereals in particular. Cereal costs you a, bo- a regular box of cereal should cost you somewhere in the range of like two to three fifty, depending on where you're at. 
two dollars or three dollars fifty cents in would that agree. range. I would agree. Depending on what store you're going to and what area you're in, I'm at Walmart, so everything tends to be a little cheaper. And 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 it, and the prices are about are the same. But what I'm noticing is the boxes are smaller. Yep. But in this case, for me, I don't want to have a big ass box because I don't want to be eating Captain Crunch all week. Right. I just want to indulge myself with a few bowls over the next two days, uh, and then that's it. So, and I buy like a little half gallon of milk for it because I'm, again, I'm not a milk drinker, so I just want it for this cereal, and then that's it. Right. I don't even put milk in cereal. I think it's gross. You just eat it dry. Yeah. No, I can't. Because I don't want. I, I don't like my shit getting soggy. We, and then people that drink the milk after. Well, I don't it's do that. Gross. I don't drink the milk after. I dump it. I'm wasteful. Like because because it takes yeah. you a little bit of time to eat a bowl of cereal, and you're drinking that milk after <laughs> where it's somewhat warm is fucking yeah. gross. Yeah, I don't drink the milk afterwards, but also that's why I eat Captain Crunch because that shit stays hard, like for a while. Like, yeah, that stuff. I like, just so I, I was never a milk in the cereal guy. Yeah, I, I'll I'll eat it and then I'll just waste the rest of the bowl. And I so what I ended up doing that night is I ate in one night an entire bowl of cereal, like an entire box of cereal, in one night. Now it's a slightly smaller box than we're all accustomed to because everything's shrinking. And I had a probably um I, it was a half gallon of milk, so I probably had like two thirds of that thing because I was wasteful with the milk. Like I would I went through four different bowls though. Because I would eat one, and then I'd refill it and put more milk in it, and I'd do it again. How long did this take you? Uh, it was probably, of course, like three hours. Okay, because I was going to say, you can't yeah. drink a gallon of mil- milk within an hour. But you got to understand, I'm dumping out the leftover right, right. milk, so I'm not really drinking it. Right. It's, a lot of it's just being wasted. I'm just saying and it's so, not possible But what I throwing up. The point is, is I ate an entire box of cereal in like two sittings in the same night. <laughs> And I just, so... It sounds like you had I, one of those bowls like fucking Craig and Friday where he just fucking like has like the big popcorn bowl and he just fucking pours the whole thing that's in there. Ba- that's what I, if I would have known... With a giant ass fucking uh, Kool-Aid stir spoon. If I would have known I was going to do that, that's probably what I would have just done. <laughs> but it just, it just, I just kept going back to it. And uh, it completely destroyed uh, the inside of my mouth. Just completely yeah. just chewed up the whole fucking thing. Um and uh and there was there was some now see we, we went on two different tangents within this. So now I can't remember I was I was telling this so I can link it back to the something else we were just talking about. To so the morning boner? Oh, the morning morning wood? No, yeah. I thought we moved on from that one. Uh peeing in bottles? Peeing in bottles. Pe- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, here's so here's how it connects. Here's how it connects. So I can't wait to hear this. So what ends up happening is when I overindulge with anything that's got like, sh- especially sugar in it. You don't get your morning wood, right? No, that's not oh, what okay. I'm. That's not what I'm going right. with. This. So just trying to, I'm trying to guess here. <laughs> no, just ride it out. Strap in. This All is right. a ride. All you right. gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta. So um, if I have something where I'm just pigging out, now it's, I'm not talking about like normal, like. You know, today there was like some blueberries in my fridge. I had like a handful Hand, of those. Handful of blueberries every day is good for your dick. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, well, it's good to know because I've been yeah, I've been eating those. So, um, you know, I have like something like that, or maybe you know, I I I had some dinner and there, I had like a uh, a bit of like a Pepsi, but I don't drink the whole thing. You know, that's fine. That doesn't really bug me. But if I'm like overindulging, like especially during the holidays, you got candy and shit, and I'm just eating candy like. What ends up happening is like the next day, I retain all of this water. With, like I just blowed out yeah. with, because I don't eat a lot of sugar. So it, it just all of a sudden, it, it makes you hold on to water. And the next day or two, I'm peeing like crazy mm-hmm. to dump all this water. Because I get thirsty when right. I eat a lot of sugar. Well, you're always in and out of keto too. So that kind of yeah. fucks with it when you're doing the sugar thing. Yeah, right? well that's because it's, so the 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 trick with keto and why you can lose you lose a lot of water weight up front. That's how you lose the right. weight quick. And then after that, um you just don't eat as much cuz you're eating so much protein only. Yeah. Um so you don't it, it doesn't trigger. drink a lot though. You drink like a motherfucker. Uh at first, at first. Well, this is why. So this is again, this is this is why you're drinking. So this is all connected. Um so what ends up happening is because you're because when you're when you're not having uh, sugar, like sugar and carbs will make you hold on to water. Right. It, that's what that's what it does. So when you're not having it, is burning through all that, your body starts dumping water out, 
And then you're always you're so. But what ends up happening is you start peeing faster than you bring in water. So then you're always thirsty, right. and then you can pee like uh, you can you can um you got to make sure you have enough salt in your diet because then you you pee out you like your electrolytes. Um, so that's what ends up happening is I end up like peeing a lot. Like I'll pee like the next day after pigging out on a whole thing of Captain Crunch. I peed six times that day because I because I because. Because yeah, I didn't have one every any, four hours. Uh, it, not, not exactly. So what 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 will happen is is I will, um, I'll end up like I'll end up peeing in like spurts. Like it'll be like boom, boom, like I'll, every twenty minutes I have to go again. Boom, 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 and then I stop because what is happening is I don't have any. I won't eat much the next day. Like I'll go and I'll just have like something low carb or just some basic eggs and bacon or something in the yeah. morning or whatever. Whenever I get up, and so what some I'm kind having, of meat or something. Yeah. So my body's burnt up all the sugar and everything, and I'm just pissing all the re- remaining water. Like I'll drop like three pounds in a day. Mm-hmm. Like I can just and piss. Like Dude. it'll just come out. So that. So when you're talking about sometimes you just kind of cut yourself off because what ends up happening is the stream eventually isn't as strong, but I still have to pee. Right. And then I just stop. I'm like, I, I just want to stand here anymore. It'll build itself back up. Right. And then I can just, I, I'll finish this whole thing off later. And that's usually what ends up happening, why I got to keep going all the time. Well, like uh, like Yokozuna, they said he would, like you said you drop like three, you know, probably three to five pounds a, uh, a day with water weight. Yeah. He would, this motherfucker would drop like 50 Oh yeah, in just water weight. Yeah, but um, it's funny because uh, like you said, like the um, the sugars and the the carbs is what kind of holds the liquid inside, right? Yeah. So when I was doing that for a little bit, I remember drinking like um, you know, vodka, and this was like before I tried the seltzers and all that. Mm-hmm. So vodka, water, and like some meal, right? And I still yeah. drink that once in a while, like if it's available. It's hard to drink at a party though, because like especially like. Say you're at a pool party in your pool, like it's much easier to be like, "Hey Melvin, go, uh, go, go! Can you go grab me a, a white claw?" Mm-hmm. Versus, "Hey Melvin, can you go, um, you know, put some vodka and water and this kind of mio in a drink and stir it up and get mm-hmm. some ice for me?" So it's a lot easier just to grab a fucking can. But so I was um, drinking vodka. I, I think yeah, that I think that concoction vodka water meal. I run out of meal, right? And I'm at this. Uh, I believe I was at a euchre party, and um, I asked the guy. I was like, "Hey, do you have anything that I can mix with uh, with this vodka?" Right? And he gave me a Capri Sun. Okay. And I was like, "Okay, this should this shouldn't be bad, right?" Dude, w- w- one and a half drinks with the Capri Sun, I like blacked out drunk. Oh, because there's so much sugar. Yeah, and yeah. it just held all the alcohol in my stomach and mm-hmm. like i mean i probably had you know anywhere from five to ten drinks without it and yeah. felt completely fine i had one or two with capri sun and i was yeah. fucking shit faced yeah it's it the uh, because when i'm when i'm like in keto i haven't been in a while but i when i when i'm good on it and i'm like staying away from sugar or anything carb related at all i could drink and i'll drink like whiskey Whiskey, vodka, tequila. Those are good ones you can drink because yep. there's no sugar additives. Uh, vodka is tough to just drink on its own. So You get the club soda. Yeah, but I'll just, I'll do whiskey because there's a little bit more flavor in there. And um, and, and what will what'll happen is is a couple drinks in, I, it'll hit you hard. Right. But give me about 45 minutes and at least one trip to the bathroom, and I'm sober. I'll pee mm. it all out. Like, yeah. it just, uh, your body, like, attacks it, and you're just like, you're like, all right, ready to go. Right. And the hangovers are are, are more manageable. Right. They're, um, you know, it's a lot easier just to bounce back. Uh, and honestly, if it, it, it's just, unfortunately, it's too expensive to eat like that now. Mm-hmm. Like, I was doing, I was, I was trying to do the budgeting of, like, unless I'm just eating fucking straight up just a hamburger meat all day, which you can't do that. You'll give right. yourself a heart attack. But if I was just, unless I'm just eating a hamburger meat, yeah, you got to make some chicken in there. And yeah, some like, shit. but that gets Vegetables. expensive, you right. know. And it's almost, it's almost since like fucking COVID, dude. Like, yeah. it's almost cheaper to eat out every day than to go to the grocery store. It, yeah, well, if you're trying to eat like that, yeah. Unless you're, so the trick is, so the, I find, I figured out, I was like, okay, what could, what can I do to, what is the cheapest meal that I can make easily? Cheap and easy. Eggs. Um, eggs. Eggs are eggs are one of them. Tuna. 
Tuna, yeah. I, well, so that's that's another one. Uh, but this is the. But I'm talking about getting the most for your money. Okay. Because a can of tuna is still almost a dollar a piece for one can. That's one serving, right? right? Um, now you mix it maybe with some rice or something, but still rice can get a little pricey depending on how you want to cook it. So here's the the the, the trick is fucking spaghetti. Not like fancy. Not make your own sauce spaghetti. Just get some get some. So we're not. Meat. Oh, we're not talking car, uh, keto no more. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not talking about. We're keto. talking just. I'm just talking just str- straight up meals. So I was gonna say that's uh, that that's like the opposite of keto. Oh, absolutely. Bunch of carbs. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just talking about money. I'm all just right, talking about right, like just okay. the cheap cheapest for the best bang for your buck for to get the most out of it. Spaghetti, you just get some, and I like to put like hamburger meat in there. So you yeah. put a little hamburger meat in it, and you get the give sauce, get like a ragu meat sauce, and you throw that all together, and it's you that you can you can do a whole month of big dinners of that and it would cost you i think i did the math if i ate that every day which i wouldn't be able to do i would just get so tired of it but if i had that every day that would cost me let about 50 dollars for the month yeah you know and then the other one like same thing same concept you just it's just fucking hamburger meat uh fucking tacos you get yeah. the taco kits with yeah. the taco season. You don't get the Taco Bell ones because those are more expensive. You mm. got to get like the like or, the fifty cent ones. Yeah, you go to Aldi and you get like whatever their brand yeah. is because it's the same as the, Taco Season. Taco Season. It Dude, doesn't make a difference. So I was um I was in Atlantic City. Speaking of uh, uh Aldi, I was in Atlantic City and we spent uh, two days with my sister. Yeah, she lives in Jersey and um she had these fucking uh these. Uh, chocolate chip muffins mm-hmm. that were fucking delicious. Might have been the, one of the best muffins I ever had. She got it from Aldi, and she's like, "There's some good shit there." And I'm like, "Man, oh, I, yeah. I don't think I've ever been to an Aldi." But the way Aldi works is, I've been there a lot, especially when I was like, like broke, broke. Like I didn't make any kind of money when I first moved out on my own. And what I realized is, is that what they do is they buy extra. Like okay, let's say a company like Cheerios. Yeah, they make that's just make Cheerios, right? And they make a bunch, but maybe they they make too much. Yeah. So they're like, well, here's we know we're we're gonna sell X amount of millions of boxes of Cheerios, but we have all these extra Cheerios. We need to get rid of this. We don't want to sit on it. Right. And, and it'll go bad. So do they make a different product called like O's? What they do is is they sell it at a massive discount wholesale to companies like Aldi. And uh, Aldi in particular is a big one. And what Aldi will do is they'll take so they're legitimate Cheerios, and then Aldi just buys it in bulk and packages it themselves, and that's why it's so cheap. Yeah. Because they paid nothing for it, they didn't have to make it, and they just. Bu- but that's also why Aldi's like, if you buy like their brands over time, the taste can change because sometimes they get it from a different source. Right. Maybe it's Cheerios, or maybe it's the. Maybe, the O's, maybe or just it's whatever. the O's. You know, <laughs> yeah. What, maybe it's one of those companies that just in the grocery store that just ser- that have the cereal in bags. You yeah, know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, the shit that like, you find yeah. at like Dollar Tree or yeah. Family Dollar. So like or maybe whatever. one of those companies made too much, and all these like, well, we'll buy that. It's because I remember I bought like their version of Red Bull, and which was called Red Thunder, and it tasted pretty much like a Red, but slightly different. I could tell there was a little bit of difference in the sweetness, um, but it was pretty much spot on exact. And then I looked up. I was like, "Why is that? How, but, how is that possible?" But then you get like states with the deposit, like Michigan, and you fucking it's impossible to fucking take those cans back because you have to either go back to Aldi or yeah. you just throw them out. I just throw them out because because the discount you're already getting negates you having to take it back. Yeah, like it doesn't. It's it's whatever. It's just you pay for, you pay the 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 tax think, on it. I think uh, like Michigan's, I believe, like only one of maybe it might be the only one. Um, or like one of two states that actually have like ten cents deposit instead yeah. of five, and like states like New York, like they won't even they won't even take their cans back. Like they didn't even know it was a thing because mm-hmm. it's it's so like minuscule. You you won't make any money. Like it's it like five cents versus ten cents is a big difference in bringing oh, yeah. back cans. So they would just throw them out. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that's that, that's like, a lot no of people point. Do that. Like yeah. it's you know it's basically a waste of money to go return your cans. Yeah, that point. well, that's it's actually no. I think it's illegal. I remember there was an episode of Seinfeld where they were, it was Kramer or somebody like that, and their whole mission was they found out that you get ten cent deposit in Michigan. Yeah, so they were gonna drive to Michigan to to, to uh, with all these returnables mm-hmm. to make all this money, and uh, but I think it's illegal. Yeah, I think it they is. end up you get, a, get they got arrested or something like that. But yeah, that's 
So I, you know, that's like, uh, okay for 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 as long as we've been alive, it's been ten cents. Yeah, and there's been so much inflation, yet it's still ten cents. Why don't they fucking up the shit? I, I just don't think that it, it get people it, more motivated to actually fucking recycle and well, fucking bring your fucking cans back. But the problem is, is that it would increase the price. Well, that's fine. Of you, the you're item. still getting more money back, so it's like it's still like a trade off. But like, I can't believe that's been the one thing like one of the things that never increased in price my brother actually mentioned that to me or mentioned when we were talking about it when we were in jersey with my sister yeah and um like it was just kind of eye-opening because you're like you're like yeah everything else has gone in pr- up in price and i understand that it would cost more but it also doesn't motivate people at all to return their shit no it's actually because my like i went to my parents house and like they just throw it out there's like yeah. i don't want to deal with it and it's and they're not even talking about like aldi brand stuff we're talking like just like, like coke, coke yeah. yeah and then they're like i, I just don't want to go to the store and do right. that i don't want to have to sit in the line so fuck this we don't drink enough of it and i i get it because i gotta i get all the the costco shit so i can only take it back to costco now costco does have like machines you can go yeah. to and there's never like a line but I don't want to have to. I got like four bags in my garage that I know one of these days I got to go there and spend like an hour. Returning See, all these people, things. people might as well be starting to like make like shit and Twister and shit. Well, did they use fucking Coke cans for like their fucking oh, little device? The movie Pe- Twister. Yeah, yeah, people are gonna be starting yeah. to just fucking do that shit. <laughs> you try- make like a weather machine. Yeah, out of it. like they're gonna be <laughs> they're gonna be Helen hunting everywhere. Yeah. By the way, that's fucking was- dusty. T- fucking dusty! That movie's so terrible. I almost watched. Uh, I, That's, you love that movie. No, Every time I don't. it's on, you were watching it. Well, out of hate, it's a hate you watch. It's so bad. No, there's, it's one of Philip Seymour Hoffman's I, worst roles as stupid Dusty. I almost guarantee Bill Paxton there's is the no, extreme. There's nobody out there that hate watches something oh, as much as you do. God, it's so. It's to bad. a point where you just like it. Just uh, that that whole scene with the F five. Like, oh, what's an F five? Finger of God. Finger again, and then everyone just drops their silver. We're like, I can't believe you just ask that. Well, has everyone already seen one? And like, like Brock Lesnar comes in and just fucking f fives everyone. I don't remember that. I think it was when no, they that's got director's cut. Yeah, they, got, they just look up and it's like only only one of us. And they look upstairs and because like Helen Hunt's upstairs, like taking a shower or something, like because they just got it. They were survived a. And then they look storm. out the window and it's not a tornado, but it's Brock Lesnar just huge walking yeah. towards his house. That's that's the reboot. <laughs> that's how they it's do the it. It's the director's cut. Yeah, someone, someone, someone could definitely just edit that these days. They could. I would now that I would, I would appreciate if somebody edited a version of Twister, but instead of a tornado, it it's was Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. Yeah. yeah, just throwing stuff around. That would be just throwing having a the cows. Yes, <laughs> just throwing it all over the place. That's the same cow. <laughs> <laughs> I I, the, I was uh, I was looking to, for something to watch today um, on Netflix and um, uh, Boogie Nights came mm. across and I almost watched it but it was a little too long I didn't want to watch like I didn't want to commit that's a to, great movie. I know it, I watched it before but uh, I just didn't want to commit to over two hours to watch it and it's um, a fast two hours though you just... but uh, the preview is fucking dusty. <laughs> To, oh, for well, yeah, Boogie Night. Yeah, he's yeah. in that. Yeah, he's uh, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, there's a whole and scene. And he has a crush he, with uh, uh, on Wahlberg. Yeah, that, that's a Dirk great Ziegler. movie. And T- Todd Parker. Todd Parker is the best character of all time. <laughs> he's he's the guy who shows up. I don't know if you remember, but it's like in the second half of the movie, he's like. Phil, uh, not Phillips, what's the other guy? John C. Riley's buddy. Yeah, yeah. He shows up to the party and he's just like, no, man, I don't dance Sunday. I thought you were working at, I don't dance Sunday nights. <laughs> and you, dude, that entry scene, I wish I wish I could just pull it up right now, but the, the way he walks into that scene, fucking, you hear, watch that scene when he walked. I know it's on YouTube because I watched it before, millions of times. The way to introduce that character is the, one of the best introductions of any character in any movie. All, of us, all you see is the camera shot. Someone's walking out the side gate to go to the front yard of this party. Right. right. And they close the gate. As the gate closes, you hear tires screeching, a door shut within seconds, and then Todd Parker comes in, kicks the gate of the, of the fence <laughs> gate in so he can walk into the party, and as soon as he does, fl- and I never caught this before until I watched it for like the 50th time, Fucking, there's like flash bulbs going off. Like somebody's taking, like the like the director's telling you 
this man is a celebrity almost. <laughs> he's a celebrity. And he's just a male stripper. That's all he is. But he's just fucking, he walks in so cool and he goes, oh, hey, Reed. And he's like, I thought you were working. Oh, I don't work Sunday nights. Oh, let me introduce you to this girl over here. He's like, yeah, introduce her to my lap. And I was like, fucking Todd Parker. That's how, that's how. He's I, a modern day cowboy. That's how I try to walk into every party that I'm at. Dude. But usually I'm the first one there because when somebody's like, hey, the party starts at four. I'm there at like 4.05. See, you got to come in like Todd Parker. You got to show up two hours late and just kick in the game back. All right, now the party's here. Now I'm ready to go. You got to live the Todd Parker way. Well, see, like I like to get there That's... early to make sure to see who's all there and see how much time I'm going to spend here. Like, I want them to make a movie. I want to spin off of Boogie Nights all about Todd Parker. Like, that's what I. That's one of those characters in a movie. It is so well done. I want him to have his own film. Hook him up with Sean Parker, some uh, Justin that? Timberlake oh. from Facebook movie. Well, yeah, I guess you could do that too. But I, well, unfortunately, he dies. If you remember at the end of Boogie oh, Nights, yeah, yeah. So, I, but I want to know. I want it to be kind of like a Better Call Saul thing of like a little bit of a prequel to Boogie Nights. What's been? What was Todd Parker doing up until he's hanging out with Dirk Diggler and he tries to like rob a drug dealer? Probably with Magic Mike. Uh, I don't. Was that the same time period? The seventies. Oh. I have no idea. Oh. I've never seen uh, Magic Mike movies. Oh. I just know it's about my my personal life. Mm. Okay. <sighs> so, um, it's a story about me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But that's that's one of those movies. Uh, I'm just like I can watch that movie over and over again. It's you know what's it, what, another movie that's always interesting to me, and it's like a side character that you don't you don't really see much. It's, uh, there's this... Dale Doback? Who? Dale Doback. That's, that's Step Brothers, right? Yeah. You want to see more Dale? Well, I mean, I'd love a <laughs> sequel to that movie. That's true. But that's not, that's not exactly where I'm going. So, right. I'm trying to, what I'm saying is like, um... More, the, more Rufio? Uh, well, he dies. I know. So does, uh, thing. so does Todd Parker. Uh, yeah, but that's, uh, Rufio is like, maybe... Like a, a prequel to Hook? You know what? Okay, side note here. Rufio, the, the dude who plays Rufio, I don't remember his real name. but Ralph Macchio? Something like that. So he's got a TikTok account, and he does this thing, because he's been, he, as a kid, he was in so many movies and TV shows. Really? He was in a shit ton, which I didn't realize either, but he had like a bunch of small parts. Yeah, I mean, I only know him as Rufio. Like I, He I was guess, in a ton. I guess if you, if I, I guess if I saw him in something else... Then I'd be like, yeah. "Oh yeah, he's in this," but I don't, I can't, like, I can't name one thing off the top of my head. He, he was a lot of like, again, small roles in TV shows. So he does, he does this thing where uh, it's royalty check lottery or something like that. I think it's royalty check lottery, something, something like that, where you know actors they'll get paid. Yeah, yeah. It went in syndication, and he was in so much shit that he does this thing. He's like, "All right, I'm gonna pick," you know. It's mail day. He's got all these fucking checks from all these different things he was in growing up. And some of them are like, you know, he'll his big money is, of course, from like Hook. Right. But like he gets checks for like, and he'll open it up and he'll talk about like the role and he'll show like some clips of so it. So like, for example, like a Full House episode or some shit. Yeah. Like, he, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not saying he was ever in Full House. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't, but yeah, something like that. He would, yeah, he would be in like, he was like in the Steve Harvey show. Yeah. Uh, okay. When he was a little bit older, like he would be in that. So, and sometimes you get like 50 bucks and he'd be like, this is nice. We're going to have some good dinner. Some days it's like 50 cents. And, it, but it's interesting to like watch him to, to, to do that. Oh, I thought you but, were going to say he gives them away. Like he's no, like no. he raffle like like a ra like all right man like I'm feeling generous today, Bobby Caboose you're getting twenty five cents and he mails it up you know no no he just puts it in his pocket wow. so he keeps it but okay so so he's not a generous motherfucker but going back to what I was talking about earlier mo character in a movie that he's not a main character at all but I want to see more of them in the movie Goodfellas I don't know how familiar you are with this movie but. I mean, I've seen it. I'm just not. So I can't quote it. There's a, a then you have then you truly just haven't seen it then because you gotta you gotta I, watch. I mean, it I, I, I mean, I mean, I can't fucking. You haven't seen that movie till you've at least watched it ten times. You gotta. Right. Well, it's under ten. And yeah, so there's a few scenes in there. So there's there's of course the famous scene right where it's Joe Pesci and fucking, um, you know Henry Hill. What's his? I forget who plays it, Ray Liotta. Yeah. And they're having the thing of like, oh, we, you know, Joe Pesci's telling a story, and then Ray Liotta's like, oh, you're that's a funny, that's funny, really like funny, clown, yeah, man. funny how, funny. So during that exchange, 
you know, Joe Pesci's like, funny how? Like, what do you mean? What the what the fuck is so funny about me? And then this guy, because like, oh, no, he's just joking. He's like, no, 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 Anthony, he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. And there's a couple other instances. So this guy, Anthony, is speaking up to be like, hey, se- you know, Tommy, settle down. This is, and he's like, no, no, no. He always shuts him up. There's another scene where he shoots Spider, right? There's the young kid, and he's supposed to be getting the drinks, and he's giving this kid Spider a bunch of shit. Yeah. And everyone else is goading him out, like, oh, are you going to take that? Spider just told you to fuck off. And he ends up just shooting him. And it's like, <laughs> then the fucking Anthony speaks up again. He's like, he's like, I don't know if he had to, you know, if he had to, if he had to shoot him like that. I don't know. It's like, what, what? Now you got a problem with it? He's like, no, I'm just saying. I want to know what, more about that guy. Because that guy, that guy's an interesting character because he always, he, he, he has like a, you could tell he has a code. Like, hey man, I think you're out of control. But he's also smart enough to be like, I'm just saying. Like, you can do it. I'm not going to get in your business. Yeah. But I, I want more of that guy. Yeah. I want I'm more of just whoever that guy is. He's a huge IMO guy, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in, like, my opinion, in my opinion, you know, it's it's like it's like a casino, like Frankie. See, I was gonna say the yeah. mush, the in mush. Uh, in Bronx Tale. The, which one's the mush? The, the one that <laughs> isn't it the one that they put him in the fucking. Uh, Oh, when they put in him the in the bathroom because he, he fucking loses all the time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's, <laughs> yeah. like you know, you you get you get just a smidge of like a character, right? Yeah, and like you're just like, man, I I want more. But then if you had more, it might not be as good. I don't know. I think if I had more Todd Parker, everyone would love it. Like I think that would be a great that would be a great film. Like Dave Franco in Superbad. Like uh, he pissed his pants and no one ever forgot. And like, if that character was around more, you probably would be like, Dave eh. Franco was in Superman. Yeah, he's the kid that uh, um, at the very beginning when they're playing soccer. Yeah, and uh, they're like, Hey, man, he's like, Did you piss your pants in like fifth grade? And he's like, That was like ten years ago. And he's uh, like, People don't forget. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know it was uh, Dave Franco. Yeah, it is. I okay. think it might be one of his first like roles. Oh, all right. That's yeah. No, I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I mean that. That's that's the type of thing. Like, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of movies that I think of out there where, uh, yeah, I want to know more about a certain character. And there's like there's such missed opportunity because like they did it. They did it once. So here's a great example. I know you've seen The Big Lebowski. Yeah, actually, I so just they, watched that the other day too. So they actually made a bit of a spinoff. About the Jesus, the, yeah, the Jesus. Like he, that I came never, out recently, though. Like, yeah, not recently, but like within the last couple of years. Yeah, and I never saw it. No, I didn't. I didn't yeah. hear much about it. I mean, I, I will watch it one of these days. But it, yeah, it's just he gets out of jail. Mm-hmm. Whatever. He, I don't know if it's like in present day or if it was when he got out of jail. When you know, when Walter tells a story about like he had to go door to door to tell everybody he was a pederast or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, that's that's a that's an example of that's a character. That's iconic. That's and and that 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 is uh, worthy of getting their own movie. And that's I think more they should do that more often because there's this there's this thing of like everything's got to be a reboot or they gotta like they gotta do some crazy you know uh, remake remake reboot. out of it. And it's like no no you have good stuff here. Just add on to what you got. Um. <clears throat> It's funny. My brother pointed this out to me. The Big Lebowski sounds just like the current Lions coach, Dan Campbell. Like, if you close right. your eyes, you wouldn't be able to tell which one was talking. Really? Yeah. It's, like, unreal how how close their voices are and, like, just... I didn't... I, well, I, I don't... I don't. Unfortunately, I don't watch enough football. Right. But I, now I'm sure over the next few months, I'll yeah. see something with him in there. Yeah, but, his name's Dan Campbell. All right. And the, he, he, dude, he's, like... <laughs> He's he's a beast, dude, because he's a former player. Oh, but yeah. like, you could just tell his life, his whole life is football, mm-hmm. like football and working out. And uh, he, the way he does like press conferences are like wrestling promos. It's fucking hilarious. Really? Yeah. Well, I've noticed that with like uh, for some reason, I get all these Kevin Nash interviews in my algorithms, mm-hmm. and he's like a big guy, you know, wrestling. All, and yeah, he's a very like laid back. Yeah. It's almost like, yeah, these big guys, they're just like, there's just, I don't know what it is, but they're just very just chill. Yep. They just, that's just the way. It's I don't know. because they don't have Napoleon syndrome, dude. Maybe. Maybe that's it. They just, you know, they're the, just confident in themselves. The the smaller dar- dogs bark more, you know? Yeah, it's true. Very true. I 
got that from my neighbor. So <laughs> that's very, that's very true. Shout out to your neighbor. Yeah. Mm. But um, no, there was um. So, but there was something uh, you were you were talking about. You were um, not not morning wood, not pissing, not Captain Crutch, but the things you, that we were. Yeah, saying yeah. Upstairs. You told me about upstairs. Yeah. Um. So. I don't know what that made. Oh, this we were watching. Um, you know, I was on vacation last week. Uh, like I said, at, in Atlantic City, and we were at an Airbnb. And you know, um, especially with Airbnbs, I'm not sure how many you've stayed at, but a lot of them don't have like cable, right? They okay. have a lot of apps that, like, oh yeah, you know, yeah, they'll put yeah. their apps on a like a Roku or a Fire Stick or whatever yeah. for the people that are staying there because. You know, not th- not to say you spend that much time in the room, but like especially a place like Atlantic City where there's gambling, like there is times where you're like, all right, you know, I don't want to spend any more money or or whatever mm-hmm. the case is. Like you're burnt out, you just want to watch TV or whatever. Right. Well, they had um, I don't know which it might have been Pluto. I was watching some Degrassi. Oh yeah, Pluto's um, got Degrassi. Yeah. But it, I thought it was a different one. Um, there's two B. Fi- something Fido. Fi- or Philo. Philo, yeah, maybe. Okay, one. so one of them anyway. They had like old game shows on, right? They had like yeah. the game show network, but they would play like, you know, old family feuds, um, like uh, Concentration with uh, Alex Trebek. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Oh, that's that's um, old. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I don't remember. Stuff from like the 70s, 80s, you know, shit like that. Well, anyway, I was thinking. Because, like, some of the prizes, dude, um, were, like, kind of ridiculous. But mm-hmm. what made me think of it because of those prizes was, you know, we grew up at a time where, uh, like, Nickelodeon extended their product and came out with gas, games, Nickelodeon Games and Sports, yes. and Noggin right, at the same right. time, right? So yeah. they had three channels, uh, Nickelodeon, the original, gas, and Noggin. So gas was all, like, you know, Global Guts, uh uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. They had like um, Double pic- Dare, Double Dare yeah. picture, picture something with uh, Michael Malley. Um, the Finders Keepers, where yeah. you run through a room, Nick Arcade, Nick yeah. Arcade, shit like that. So I just remember like figure it out. Um, these yeah. runner, like I'm trying to think of one specifically. Like, um, uh, what was it? Um, it might have been Nick Arcade. I don't know. But the third place prize would be like Nestle Quick, like the fucking syrup. And I'm mm. like, dude, like, really? That Like, at that time, it probably cost like two, three dollars, um, probably less than that, maybe a dollar. Um, and that would be the third place prize for the kids. Second place prize would be like a pair of L.A. lights, those shoes <laughs> that light up when yeah. you fucking walk I on them. Those. those are dope. Yeah. <laughs> Not for a second place prize on a fucking game show. Oh, dude, we, and then those the, were like a hundred bucks. Then, back in the day. like, if you you know climb the aggro crag or the super aggro crag or whatever name that they wanted to call it that week, uh, the mega mega super aggro crag, <laughs> um, you would win like two nights at Universal Studios for I don't and I don't even know if it was for you and your family, but like they were kids, so obviously you know your family had to be there. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if they provided the whole thing for your family, but. How shitty of gifts are these or, oh, or prizes? Yeah, but like, I go to modern day and like, you know, my dad watches Family Feud all the time. They only get like if they win fast money, they only get twenty thousand yeah. dollars, and you're splitting it between five people. That's only four grand a person. That's if they win everything. Yeah, yeah. That, there's not a whole lot. Like it's it's like, just enough for you know, and they make so much money off of like the ads and everything right and but if you go on like wheel of fortune yeah. wheel of fortune a half hour you take home whatever money you make like you could be in third place and have twelve thousand dollars for a half hour jeopardy on the other hand if you make third place and you have twelve thousand dollars you're only getting a thousand and then second place gets two thousand oh so you don't you, get to keep you, the actual money no you only if you win only if you're the top part yeah oh, only so- if you're the champion you get to win the one money that you earned uh, so I'm like, dude, like, why are all these game shows fucking shitty as fuck as far as their prizes? Well, because I'm sure it gets expensive. It's all production costs, right? You got to pay for Trebek's, you know, salary, which I'm sure was pretty big back in the day or whatever. You know, you got all that shit. You got the maintenance of it. And then it's like, yeah, so you get some rube on TV that they're more excited. Yeah, they'll like they want to get some money, but they're just more excited to be on TV. And I think that was the thing with like the Nickelodeon stuff was they targeted kids, right? So. 
And it was at Universal Studios. Yeah. So you would go there on a vacation, and you'd be like, oh, let me go check out some of the Nickelodeon shows. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah, you could be in there, and, and we'll give you like, yeah, we'll give you two free nights, basically comping you right. for the night you're already there. If you're there for a week, it's like, cool, I got two See, free nights. I wonder out, if like. that's how it works though, like for like Universal. For, yeah. we'll, we'll stick to Nickelodeon because the other ones, obviously, you you go online and you you try out or whatever. Yeah. But for the Nickelodeon ones, are you uh, like, are the kids just on vacation? And they just like they like go to the studio to like for like a tour, and they're like, oh, I'd really like to be on this. I, or do they have to? Would they have had to try out or write a letter or do I'm, something? I'm sure sure that there was probably a system where people on vacation can go and then they just sign up when they're there. That's the way I always assumed it worked. I don't know. Because I always assumed that you would have to like write a letter or something and like it's almost like an application to be on. Yeah. And then you go down there. But no. I, yeah. I always just assumed it was these were just tours because they're off. They're usually from all over the country and you're already at a theme park. Like you, right. you're already there. And it's why it was in Florida because people want to go to that. So that's why I wasn't in California because then it would be, you know, that's that would make more sense because there's more studios down there. But there, it's like, oh, you're already here for a vacation. You got a kid here that's excited. Hey, guess what? If you sign up for this show, and then within, and by the way, you have so many people that come to these things. Dude, you could film an entire season in a week. Yeah, and then it's it. You don't even have to fucking touch it again. And so, yeah, but then you have like, yeah, the prizes were typical, typically shit. They were just like freebie stuff that they would they could just give out. One like of I'm the, trying to think of the, uh, some of the other ones that were terrible. One like of the worst. Had. One of the worst was Bozo the Clown. Now, I don't. You, you, you have you ever seen? Yeah, Bozo yeah. The Clown? I used to watch it on Saturday morning. Yeah. So Bozo the Clown. I liked Bozo the Clown. There was always it was. I mean, there wasn't anything fancy, but and it wasn't like there wasn't even a show on cable. It was out of Chicago, I believe. It yeah. was on WGN, that, which was the, crazy the to me. The only thing I really remember that is the bucket game at the end where well, they would throw the, the ball in the bucket. That was the g- grand prize game. That was like the last, you know, that was usually at the end of the show. Right. But, you know, there was other little things. There would be little crafts, and then there was like little skits, and there was little cartoons and whatever. But, yeah, the grand prize game was the big one. And every bucket you sink one in... After so many buckets, you get another level of a prize. No kid ever got to the end, by the way, which is so enraging because I was like, dude, I could do this in my sleep. These kids are retarded. But it would be like the prizes were typically like, hey, uh, here's here's what they they usually walked away with maybe a Toys R Us gift card of some sort for like seventy five dollars. Right. I think like one of the one of the prizes was. An entire shopping spree, but they never really specified how much money the shopping spree was. Right. Like I always imagined the shopping spree meant like I get to go to Toys R Us and I can just fill the cart with whatever I want. Yeah. I'm assuming the shopping spree was probably like here's a hundred bucks, right. go crazy. Like even like yeah. five hundred bucks would be huge at Toys R Us. Yeah. Well, especially for back then. Yeah. That's, you know, we're talking. This is the '90s when I was watching. This. So, but no, usually what it was is they would get a bag. The most common prize, because they were probably a sponsor of the show. Dum Dum's fucking lollipops, dude. Suckers. Dum Dum suckers. And they would be like, you know what? And you won yourself some dumb a baggage of dum dum suckers. And you got yourself like a whole bag. And then you got maybe if they did well, you got like a fifty dollars, you know, in Jeffrey Bucks. I was gonna say the and, Nickelodeon, I remember it was like ten dollar Jeffrey Bucks. I'm yeah. like, the fuck can you get for ten dollars? In Bozo, yeah, you get baby that, and there would be all these other prizes like a bike and shit. Then these kids never got them, like a, tr- and it would be like some weird vacation, like there's a four day vacation to Texas. I was like, what kid wants to go to Texas? I don't understand. Nobody wants that shit. And uh, and so, but but then when they would give away the prize, be like, well, you know what though, you at least got three buckets, so you get this bag of dum dum suckers, which costs like a dollar. And then it's like, by the way, everybody in the audience gets a dumb, dumb suckers. While the audience goes, yeah, I'm like, I remember being at home, and I'm like, those sup- those are the ones they give away at the doctor's office. Yeah, These so they they just nothing. they just bought two bags of dumb, dumb suckers and gave you one, <laughs> and then split the other one. The prize pool for Bozo the Clown cost five dollars. <laughs> it was such a scam. Well, hey, it was it was public access TV almost. <laughs> it was- but and I don't even I don't know if that show's still on. But that show I was on it. for a while. I, I doubt it because there was a it, it was in it started in black and white. Right. Like that shit. Bozo was, was on probably for real a scary. Long time. It, it began, oh yeah, yeah. There was a I was looking it up because I wanted to get an example of a prize there. But like even regular Bozo, to be honest, was pretty. 
I know nobody else can see this, but this is the Bozo I remember. And that oh, was yeah. a little that, creepy. That looks just like uh um like Tim it. Curry. Yes. In fucking the original it. Yeah, and then there's like uh there was older but the older Bozo was even scary. I'm trying to find the black and white one. Yeah, the black and white one would be terrifying. Yeah, that one was Like no ma- no wonder so many people are fucking afraid of clowns. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was dumb dumb suckers and tootsie rolls. That was another one. You get a bag of tootsie Jesus. rolls. Jesus. And like everybody in the audience also gets I, tootsie rolls. Nickelodeon did t- the tootsie rolls. I remember that yeah. now. And uh Nickelodeon also did um what the, uh they I don't know if they ever they might have gave out a Super Nintendo once or twice. Yeah. Or a Sega. I'm trying to think. They may have like probably but, like But that'd a be show the like... grand that'd be the grand prize. But yeah. like Double Dare, when they went to the obstacle course, every obstacle you would you would win a prize. Yes. But it was like yeah. yeah, it was like the LA lights, I remember a lot. The um <laughs> or the BK Knights. Um <laughs> the, the fucking the the prizes in these game shows for kids. With the equivalent of the prizes you earned when you're selling the candy at school, you remember the you remember the tears of prizes yeah. where it's like, hey, if you sell twenty dollars in candy, you can get a Koosh ball. <laughs> and then if you if you sell like ten thousand, yeah. you'll get a limo ride to McDonald's yeah. for lunch. I remember that one. Well, here's the thing, I for two years, because uh, my my grandfather was an executive for a very very large corporation, he would take in my order. To the, to the office, and everyone wanted to kiss his ass, so they would buy a bunch of fucking can Dude, I maxed out for two years in a row. I got a bike. I got a karaoke machine. I got a hundred bucks. So you're I probably the, the kid that everyone hated because they're dude, like, motherfucker. I remember I won, a, I won like a hundred dollars, and I spent like 70 or 80 on it on Sonic and Knuckles because it was expensive because it had lock-on technology. I remember... Dude, and then and then I remember he retired like the, the next year, and I was like, "All right, hey, uh, do you know anyone who wants this?" He's like, "No, that's the neighbor." <laughs> and I, all I got was a fucking koosh ball and like a hand clapper thing. <laughs> I'm trying to look up more of the prizes because I, I googled the, uh, you know, like you would get the um the gack. Yeah, yeah, you know, the gack. gack. Yeah, they they definitely gave out GAC on Nickelodeon shows. I never have good service down here. I hated the I hated GAC. I remember when GAC came out, I had a couple of them, and I was like, at first I thought it was like silly putty. Like I always like silly putty because you can you can mold it into stuff, and if you made it into a ball, it'll bounce. Right. You know, GAC wasn't even like that. GAC wasn't even like play doh. It was just ooze. It just yeah. fucking. And, and I was like, "What am I doing like with this?" Like my parents would get like pissed because they're like, "You got gack on everything." Like, yeah. Like they wouldn't like let me have gack. And it because, stunk too. Yeah. It smelled like shit. Like silly putty was like basically just soft rubber, and then play doh. But I didn't mind play doh. Play doh was okay. I what I didn't like about play doh was I'll never forget. I remember when it was when Batman Returns came out with the penguin and shit. Yeah. So I got somebody gave me a Batman Returns Play Doh set to like mold the characters. They had like little trays you could mold a Batman or a Penguin or a Catwoman. And on the cover, they would use multiple colors of the Play Doh to give you the full design. Like Catwoman, you'd have like the little white lines because in her suit she had like the the thread lines in there and shit. Or like the Penguin, you had like a different color for the hat. And I'm like, how are you making these colors? Because it's just one tray. Like, how do? You? So I tried doing it, and it just mushed all the colors <laughs> together into like black. And I was like, well, this is fucking stupid. But yeah, they, okay. Some of the prizes were like bubble yum. Yeah, yeah. It was just some fucking shitty candy. H- hug a pet backpack. H- hug a pet. Um, you can't do that on television. Green slime shampoo. Oh, I remember that show though. Um, that was a weird show. Uh, like those shitty ass little watches. Oh, like, swatch. <laughs> was it, oh, you know the the fucking remember the remember the bracelets, the snap bracelets. Yeah, they were just like a stick, and you slap it on there. <laughs> They'd give those. I things got out. one of those at a parade, like a Labor Day parade or Memorial Day parade, a couple years ago, and I kept hitting my girlfriend with it, <laughs> and she got pissed. And I was like, "It's a snap bracelet." <laughs> um, Skittles. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sugar babies and sugar daddies. What game is this? Th- these are just random. Oh, like, just random prizes. Prizes um, that they used to do on um, the Smart Start Sunglass Collection. I don't remember that. I don't know. Um, Legoland building sets. Yeah. Um, okay. But that was back when that was that in the nineties. <laughs> 
Coca-Cola clothes. Yeah, that's stupid. Like you get a Coca-Cola shirt. I, I remember the Legos were prizes, and this is before Lego started like having cool shit. Yeah. Like Legos, I'm going to be honest with you, up until like n- the late 90s, like 98, Legos fucking sucked. Yeah, because I remember getting um, I remember getting a pirate ship or like everybody like, had that fucking pirate the pirate ship, ship yeah. and like the pirate setup, and that was like one of the first ones that yeah. they actually had a set, and like it, that was awesome. But um, a six inch portable color TV slash radio, wow. which honestly those six inches, I remember for the longest time if you, my parents' TV they had the big TV bag in the mm-hmm. day. That TV ain't shit. That was like a thirty inch. And they this they put a they put like a thousand dollar stereo around that fucking thing. Meanwhile, I got a seventy inch on this wall that probably costs less than that thing. There's a couple <laughs> skateboards like LA Gear and Jaws. Um, just a gift certificate to an ice cream place, like <laughs> <laughs> giant ob- one of them, giant object replicas. What does that mean? I don't I know what no that idea. Is. Luggage. Oh yeah, luggage was a big one. You get a bike, uh, a VCR with barcode remote control. Barcode remote control. I don't know what that means. Yeah, wouldn't. What, what do you need a barcode for? A uh, single Odeon karaoke machine. I remember oh, that yeah, a lot. Yeah. Um, I may have actually gotten that out of the fucking Morley Candy thing because <laughs> one of them was a, it was a Nickelodeon alarm clock. My brother had it for a long time. Where it was this, it was this alarm clock. It was a Nickelodeon branded alarm clock, and the basic alarm was like all of their little. It, it was the most irritating thing. It would all of a sudden it would wake up and it would be like this. It, it was all like the little little bumpers that Nickelodeon used to have. Yeah. So it would be like it start off with like this uh, NASA's like three, two, one, and you'd hear like an explosion, and then it'd be like Nick, the Nick, Nick, the Nick, 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 Nickelodeon, and then it would be like singing, and there'd be like. Fuck! It was the most irritating alarm. I mean, it worked. It got you up, but it was that was all it did. It should, see, it should have had like Keenan and Cal being like, "Get up, motherfucker!" I don't think they talk. Well, this, first of all, I think this was a little before yeah, Keenan and Cal, and secondly, I don't think they, they <laughs> like Mark like that. Mark Summers being like, "Get the fuck out of your bed <laughs> and go watch Double Dare." I'm not. I'm, about that go watch what would you do you yeah. fuck before school that's what they should now say. i did like what would you do better than double dare i never liked double dare see i like family double dare i, I didn't like regular it. double dare hated it i wanted nothing to do with double dare that was i flipped <laughs> the channel off of that i'd rather watch hey you'll, dude you'll remember that i hated hey dude <laughs> I loved you'll, it. you'll you'll remember this one a trip the space game Oh, yeah, Space Camp. That's right. I, uh, I always wanted to go to Space yes. Camp because of that. The, I was like, the kids get to float in space. Like, they'd show up, like, in zero-G gravity. I'm like, how are they doing that? I want to go to Space Camp. Whatever. Do they still do the, a Space Camp? I want to go to Space Camp now as an adult. You can, can I do that now? <laughs> you can get the Double Dare game, um, Class Act school supplies. Super scooters, fruit juices. Oh, yeah, there'd be some for ecto coolers and shit, yeah. yeah. Some Starburst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, thanks for my fucking Starburst, Nickelodeon. Um, a Mickey Mouse Capade NS, uh, NES video game. Never heard of Mickey Mouse Capade. Oh, for the NES. Yeah. Well, the back in the. That was like the. The Etch a so Sketch. You could get an Etch a Sketch. Yeah, the Etch a Sketch. I, ha- I hated the Etch a Sketch, too. People, t- I remember people be like, oh, you- I remember people give me an Etch a Sketch as like a gift. And I was like, you might as well have just spit Dude, in my face. This okay. game, this thing sucks. So without seeing the uh, title, look at that picture. What is that? It's a giant sailboat, right? Okay. So it's a picture of a giant sailboat. Yeah. <laughs> it says, Sea Devil Mini Sailboat. How big is this fucking thing? Because it looks huge in the picture. It looks like it's in the ocean, but I guarantee it's in like someone's bathtub. Well, here's the other thing, too. You win these prizes. You're on vacation down in Florida. How are you going to bring f- it back? Yeah, have, I think, so I think, and this happens a lot, especially like when people win c- cars and stuff, you got to pay taxes on yeah. the prize. That you, so sometimes they'll just take a cash payout. Right. So I'm wondering if a lot of this stuff, like like that stuff, like the candy and shit would be easy to give away. But then like a sailboat. Or like uh, they have like the um, like the ice hockey and the foosball tables, like the yeah. tabletop tables. Like how are you going to bring that home? Yeah. I would, I'd be like, I'm kind of surprised that they wouldn't like, 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 uh, 
ship it to you. you well, they, may, they might have, maybe. I don't know. Like, how are you going to get that on a plane? But I, know, who, I know security was a little... Oh, the Casio keyboard. Oh, that yeah, was the a Casio. Big one. That was big. I, mean, I had a Casio. I had a little one. Fuji zoom camera. <laughs> Some good shit. So the Armatron uh, classic character watches. Yeah, yeah. I remember those. But, man, I just... I, like... I forget which like it might have been doubled there. Like the first like obstacle you go, you get like a fucking Hershey's Hershey's chocolate syrup, and you're like, "Cool, this is awesome! I get to make chocolate milk tomorrow." <laughs> yeah, and then you'd be so excited to tell you about. It. I was like, "Yeah, you get a, a bottle of Hershey's syrup," and you're like, "Yeah, you get Nesquik." Yeah, I with love the fucking Nesquik. Bunny on there. I loved Nesquik though. That was powdered Nesquik. That was the only way to make a chocolate milk. See, I would use the syrup. No, you gotta use the you gotta use the powder, and you put enough powder in. So when you're done, there's like, like a fucking just powder everywhere. There's powder in the bottom of the thing. Yeah. Like that's how you get that. I will never have chocolate milk that isn't the powder. <laughs> I only use my Wait, mom. You won't you won't buy like a half quart of chocolate milk. No, no, I won't. No, no pre made shit. None of that. I, and I will not use the syrup. I remember my mom bought the syrup one time. And I was like, what's this for, mom? And she's like, this is for your chocolate milk. And I'm like, oh, I tr- tried making it. I'm like, this is no good. This ain't the same. Dude, what we have to do is we have to buy this Double Dare game. There's a Double Dare game? Yes. That what, was one what? of the prizes. It's from Pressman. Pressman That's the company. Um, we got to find this and play this on stream. Well, how, wait, is, it a, is it a video game? Or no, I, like think a it's a, game? I think it's a board game. How, how do you do? Is it, I don't know. That's, that's interesting. I wonder if they still make. I mean, I mean, I, can, I would think you would be able to find it on like eBay or something. Well, I mean, maybe. Uh, let me take a look. I got Amazon right here. I'll just, I'll just look it up. We're gonna solve this in real time, everybody. We're gonna look up the Double Dare, Double Dare. There was a trip to Mexico. Uh, game. Yeah, yeah. They have. That's what I'm talking about. They'd be some random trip. You're a child. What <laughs> kid is like? Yeah, I want to go to Mexico. Look at the picture of the space camp. Space Camp was dope. It was just fuck, some though. kid with a fucking helmet on. Space Camp was so, so oh, cool. Oh, Book of an Encyclopedia is a 19 inch color TV. <laughs> yeah, nine, see, that's a good TV. 19 inches, that's a good TV. His or hers bicycles. I don't know how I used to watch TV as you, a kid on a little Uf, 12 inch. <laughs> UFO binoculars. Well, yeah, you got to see if they're, if they're out there. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. With what Gumball dispenser. Yeah. There's some good shit, man. It's, it's fucking, yeah. It was, this is, I think, basically, this is just Double Dare, though, because like, yeah, it says Double Dare Wiki. These are all the all the prizes they would give out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they were not they were not the best. They were not giving out their best. You're like, sweet mom, I got luggage to replace this other luggage to fucking go home with. Well, yeah, I mean that'd be better. I'd be like, yeah, I got this better luggage. Let's just Dude, throw out this other shit. Bon Jovi concert tickets with door to door limousine service. That's again, it. what kid is one? What that's for the parent. Like the kid doesn't want to go. I'd be so pissed if I'm doing double dare. I'm doing all this cool shit, and there's like Mark Summers is like, congrats, you won Bon Jovi tickets. I'm like, I, I don't. I don't like Bon Jovi at all. I want to. You're like, cool. So I have to. It's like two tickets. So you, uh, yeah. cool. I'm sitting in the room while my parents go to this concert. Yeah, that's basically all I get to do. What? Why don't you give me Fuck like. Fuck you, Mark Summers. Yeah, give me like New Kids on the Block or something that was hip. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Vanilla Ice. Yeah, that was what was cool. That's what a kid would want to see. A Casio uh, FX7000G scientific calculator. Oh, those are good. See, that was good, though, because you'd use that in... Yeah, monkeys concert tickets. The monkeys. Yeah, the monkeys. Nobody. That's for the parent. There's no way. And Double Dare w- didn't start... It was like, what, earliest is like late 80s. Yeah, 88, The maybe. monkeys were from like the 70s. <laughs> that Nobody liked the monkeys back then. The monkey. The monkeys... The monkeys didn't like the monkeys. No, like that. it was. It's not even a real band. It's a fake Beatles band that they. It's like the Partridge Family. <laughs> That's basically what it was. It was a TV show band. Nobody was like, "Fuck the monkey." That, that upsets <laughs> me. That really upsets me. That, You're not a Davy Jones fan. Was he a monkey? I think so. Because I think that's why uh, Marsha Brady was obsessed with him. Was it? I don't. I remember. think so. I, maybe I don't know, man. Like that, that shit's before my time. I, yeah. I'm I'm using that as a reference from the Brady Bunch movie, which oh. I think they should make 
another Brady Bunch movie because remember the f- first two they were like stuck in the night or they were in the nineties yeah but they were like stuck in the past. Imagine if they made one now and they were still stuck in the past. Like I think that would work. Like stuck in the seventies. Yeah, and they w- it, it would be present time. Yeah, but then they would be like. Yeah, I could see that. Could that see that's that. that's like a remake that I would be down for because it's it's yeah. a completely different movie at that point. But here's here's the thing though. So I like I like the idea. But here's something you got to remember about the 90s. The the Brady Bunch was only like 20 years old at most at that time. Right. So what if what if they did that with another sitcom of the 90 like which is crazy because they like you know, a big one from the '90s was like Roseanne, and they already rebooted it. Like, there's a version of that right. still playing with just not Roseanne in it. Like, it's it's. But it, it would have to be a movie. That's what I'm saying. Well, that, no, no, I know, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, is like, there's you have to like, like think about like a show. You can make a movie out of a show from the '90s, but the like, like I'm trying to think of maybe like like. And they would never do it with Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld would never do it. But like Seinfeld would be one. But it's like. But Kirby enthusiasm still exists. It's right. like a form of well, it, you know. The thing that worked about the Brady's was like it was like so corny. Yeah. And then like the nineties was super edgy. They, you know, oh, fuck. They kind of did this, but I don't know how they did it because I didn't watch it when they did Fuller House. Yeah. Because that was a corny ass show, and then they re- and they unfortunately yeah I don't know if they could do it with another show because they just keep rebooting them like Girl Meets World <laughs> and fucking. And, uh, you can't. Well, the Cosby's that's out of the question right. now. We but, can't even touch that. But with that too is like all the they didn't use any of the original cast. No, you know I know. What I'm saying like yeah. they just like had people that looked like them and it pl- it played off because it was so easy to look like these fuckers. So yeah. I mean, they had like some of the original cast in the movie as other parts. But that's what some something like that you would have to think of. Like as far as like like you're not obviously you can't have Bob Saget in there because he's dead. But like yeah. you know you'd have cameos from like. John Stamos and shit like that. Well, right, right. And it would have to be a, just a one-off thing. It'd have to be a movie and not a series because the series doesn't yeah. work because it just flops. What would you know would work is they they, they kind of did it like with Married with Children might work. Married with Children could work, but the thing is, well, that one actually could work because in a weird way, that show I don't think could exist in today. It, it, it wouldn't jive with today's audience right like it did back then the same way things were corny in the 70s because tv was really really clean Mm -hmm. and then it got edgier as people kind of as the generations went on now it's gone the other way around so yeah you take a show like married with children and then you bring it into the the 2022 and you do a show like that or 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 i'm trying to i'm trying to think of like another show like uh, along those lines the problem is, is we just milk these things like fucking the simpsons if the simpsons would have ended in like the 2000s that would be a good one where you just brought it back right. and it didn't fit because oh you know they, they kind of did it recently i don't know if you knew this beef is a butthead yeah they made another movie recent i haven't seen it but it's like them now and in a way i from what i remember it's been so long since i've seen it but i remember they they were not like you know what would work? The most like well, I guess it, PC this show. Was, back this was then. a movie though, but they turned it into a sitcom. Clueless would kind of work because they're kind of like just. But again, like the Bradys were just in their own world. That's yeah. that's what because like Mike Brady was still fucking like he still had a job as an architect. But he was just making the same fucking thing every time, and like he was wearing the clothes and all that. Well, that, but that's what I think. Like something like like um. Yeah, like a Mary with children could work because they're just stuck in the nineties instead. Mm-hmm. Like you just they just don't get out of like the nineties. Yeah. That's all they're in. So it's like, you know, Bud Bundy is still like fucking trying to rap or something. Yeah, he's still wanting to rap and and, and uh what's the Kelly? Kelly's like still. all about like, you know, fucking Motley Crue type dudes yeah. and shit like that. Like that's what they're and then it's like nowadays everybody's all you know, like PC and, you know, there there's different genders and, and then things. And Al's still, like, calling, like, women fat and stuff. Yeah, which you can't do. That's yeah. fat shaming. Yeah. You could, Al Bundy could not exist in today's world, and that would be an interesting combination. You throw an Al Bundy in mm-hmm. today, and he's over there working at a shoe store with fat women. Yeah. And now he can't talk shit to him and call him fat because he's being fat phobic. 
And then he, you know, he might deal with like a trans or something. Yes, maybe, maybe it was like a, it's a, he, you know, it's a, it's a man to female, and then he says something untoward mm-hmm. to this person, and they don't quite like it, and then they, they pick it the shoe store. Like they, I know they've done it in the show before. Yeah, yeah. I that, think this that movie, could work. I think this movie has to be made. I think that could work. Now it would be great because Ed O'Neill's still alive. Right. If and he so played is Peggy and. They're all I yeah. Think, alive, yeah. So you, so you could put them in it. I think it would be better with them in it, but you could you could also just replace them. You you would have to replace them, but you would have to have special cameos like yeah, like um, like Al is either the supervisor, like the Ed O'Neill is either yeah. like the like the manager at the shoe place, or he's a customer with like maybe like a fat woman, mm-hmm. and like so it's a little ironic type yeah, thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, because I think that, that I think the the Brady Bunch movie what it had going for it was the fact that it was like okay we're gonna keep them the characters the same template mm-hmm. and then we're just gonna put them in modern day where they did it with other shows like um, Starsky and Hutch with mm-hmm. like Ben Stiller and that yeah and they kind of were like okay well we're gonna take the concept but they're but they're still gonna be in the seventies right. but the jokes would be modernized right. you know and it's like okay that's interesting or Twenty One Jump Street mm-hmm. they did the same thing good movie yeah. but it just it's not like. It, you don't have that clash right. of of uh, culture, culture, culture yeah. clash. Yeah, and I think that that's that's something that's missing is a little bit of that. Yeah, a little bit of that culture clash. Because um, like in the Brady yeah. Bunch movie, like Mike Brady is there, and you know, like his ideas, like none of his ideas are selling except yeah. for like to the Japanese. Yeah, and then. Um, like his boss just keeps him around though because he's been there for so long, and like that would just be like Al at the shoe store, like you know. I know, I know he's not PC. Yeah, we just got to keep him because <laughs> you know technically he's not doing anything wrong or something, or yeah. you know whatever. Yeah, it's just it's just some shoe store, and then but yeah, maybe the shoe store is like eventually going to go out of business because people are just buying things on Amazon, yeah. and then he's got to figure out. And his whole thing is like, why well, want to? I'll try to buy the shoe store, but he's, you know, he's Al Bundy. He's yeah. unmotivated. So everybody, you know, there's all these things. So he kind of like falls into it. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, then there's like, you know, he upsets like a, a fat woman or a, a trans person or something. And then they go and they pick at the store and it gets closed down quicker. Yep. And then he's got a fi- on it. Bud, 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 Bud Bundy could like hand out flyers for like his Grandmaster B gimmick. Yeah. And like yeah. everyone's like, what the hell's a flyer? Because everything's done online. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. He doesn't understand like Tinder and stuff. Yeah. And he's like trying to just hit on girls the old fashioned way. Yep. And then, um, uh, uh, fuck it. <laughs> there was, what was the neighbor? Um, Marcy? Je- oh, Jefferson. Jefferson. Like you got Jefferson. Because Jefferson, the idea with Jefferson, from what I remember, is. Is that he was basically a male version of of Peg? Yeah, <clears throat> uh, because she because she was kind of like the bimbo type. Uh, yeah, so he was like a himbo. Like I, he was just dumb I think and lazy. He, I think he worked uh, like for the CIA or something, wasn't it? In something that moved in the show. I thought it was the the first husband. He was a That's, banker. But yeah, because he, he ended up a, leaving. Yeah, he worked at a bank. Oh yeah, because yeah, uh, you know what? I watched some early episodes. Yeah, they were some, originally the neighbors. The Mar- Marcy, was yeah. that what? and then whoever the first husband is, they were like kind of like yuppies. Steve. Steve, yeah, Steve and Marcy, they were like yuppies, and they had money, and then mm-hmm. Al was just some, which was crazy. Think about this though. Al was the only one working, and he could afford a mortgage. He didn't afford much, yeah, but he could afford a mortgage with yep. two kids and a dog and a wife, and a car. And well, a the car. car, the car had a million miles. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Dodge. Like, like, but that's. That would be impossible. Today. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. The the big sure. deal was the the neighbors were rich because one was a banker and the wife also worked. Yeah, that was like a big deal. Right. Like that's that would be the crazy thing now. Like he's <laughs> he's just yeah. But he can't pay the mortgage because he can't get his wife to work. Yeah, and he's and like, she's still not cooking or anything. <laughs> yeah, she's like not that. cooking. She's, and now yeah, now he's lost the shoe store instead of smoking. Ci- well, no, she'd still have to smoke cigarettes because yeah, they wouldn't change the vape. Yeah, no, yeah, they don't change the vape, and people talk about. It. I think there's a sh- I, think I think there's a movie there. I think there is too, but it's got to be a movie. It can't be a series. No, no, no. You don't need a series. Will ruin it. Yeah, you don't need a series because because a series has to go on and on and on. You don't want it. This right. is a this is a, just a culture clash thing, which is why I think. 
The second Brady Bunch movie, I didn't really like that so much. I thought it, I thought the first one was funny. The second one, I was like, I think we're I think we're really kind of like I get it. We're doing the other jokes we didn't get to do the first yeah. time around, but I I think you're kind of like this is done now. We've yeah, done that, everything we can because do because I don't know. I didn't. I never watched the Brady Bunch like like that. Like where I would know every joke, but um, like they they it was kind of like they they took an aspect of a prequel because they brought like Carol's first husband in. Yeah. And I don't know if they ever mentioned her first husband well, or anything they, like that in the first they don't, the, the original it, show. In the show, the concept is they say in the theme song, they're, they're both either uh divorced or widowed. I think they're people. both widowed because Something. I don't think the, the, yeah, the divorce, was, talk about divorce, divorce was probably, uh, I don't think they, I don't think in the show they actually ever specified. Right. It was just, Hey, these two people, they had kids. This is this is why it's such a crazy concept. They each had three kids in a previous marriage, and whatever reason that doesn't exist anymore. Here's a crazy idea. What if those two people marry, and now you have all of these kids living in the same house? Now you got six from two different previous marriages. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Now you fast forward to today, and it's like, that's yeah, life, dude. That is that's good. That's a good life at best. That's you don't. There's households that I've seen where it's like, yeah. There's like this kid comes from this dude. That kid comes from that dude. That's like if you go that's on match. Dudes. Yeah, that's what you're gonna get. Like <laughs> yeah. a chick or dude with a bunch of kids. Yeah, that dude's got three kids from four different women. I don't even know how that works, but that's the way that's working. Now, oh man. Yeah, the Brady Bunch was 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 definitely simpler times. In the 90s, I'm saying. It was way ahead of its time it in a was. weird way. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I think I think we covered it all. I uh, think we as did. Far as, as far as what we had here. I'm going to be honest with you here. I am I am exhausted. Here's one thing I was going to... Well, I think we'll end on this. This okay. will be the thing. Then. Is um, it a life lesson? This is a, no, not a life lesson, but this is something I was dealing with. Never <laughs> let your morning wood... Go to waste. Well, you don't want to do that either. You don't. Apparently not. You don't want to just waste it. Is there an equivalent to a woman's wor- morning wood? Like, I don't do they, know. Are they horny in the morning? Do I they wake know. up like wet, moist? It's a good question. Clit throbbing. I've never. I've never asked. Want so an I anal? don't know the. Yeah, I've never known the answer. But no, I've been. I've been like. I've not been sleeping. Like I've gone a couple weeks where I just don't like days. The insomnia is real. Insomnia is real right now. And uh I will say that um this I'm surprised cuz I'm <laughs> I'm I'm surprised we were able to get this done today cuz I was I'm sitting here and I know as soon as we're done I'm going to pass out. <laughs> but Same. the but the fact is and this is this is what I'm going to leave you with this. Get your sleep. Well, I, I will do that. Oh, that. I thought that was your message. No, 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 no. What I'm going to say is this, is that this was like a dream. This episode is a dream episode. It was all a dream. Yep. I used to read Word Up magazine. Hold up. <laughs> salt and pepper and a little bit. <laughs> salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine? Yeah, heavy D. Yeah. Hanging pictures on my wall? You know, I just thought of this. Martin. Martin. I mean, Martin Modern movie? day movie. Martin movie? On Martin, yes. See, I don't know much. I, I don't know enough about Martin. I I, I, I never got into Martin. Martin's I always, hilarious. I always watched <laughs> Nick Cannon. He's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I always watched the Wayans Brothers, mm. that show, over um, Well, yeah, you're talking. See, by that point, Martin was Oh, yeah, Martin, Martin was like 95, right? Martin was way earlier than that. Martin was... Uh, was early nineties, um, because he was on. I was watching Martin, ninety two, something like that. Um, and then I think that was. I think it probably started, yeah, around because it used to be on. It used to be Simpsons. I don't remember the exact order, but it was the Simpsons. I believe Married with Children, Married with Ch- uh, Martin, and in, in Living Color, and in somewhere in there because it was uh, ha- that Happily Ever After. Well, that's on WB. That was way late. Well, no, I thought that was like the Fox lineup because that was the same creators of Married with Children. But with yeah, the rabbit in the basement. But that was after Married with Children ended, so that was on WB because hmm. WB WB didn't exist. 
uh, at that time. It was only like Fox, NBC, ABC, and maybe UPN. Well, what about that um, that other animated show? It didn't last long. It's with that dude that um, fuck, I forget his name all the fucking time. Um, it, it was like the the title is animated. It was the, and it had the guy's like either occupation or whatever. What, the critic. Yes. So that was. That lasted, I believe, one or two seasons. They used to rerun it all the time on Comedy Central. That was actually a spinoff of The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that, it, that was in that lineup for a yeah, hot minute. Yeah, that was it was in there. Um, that was yeah, that was definitely early on. But yeah, it didn't it didn't last. But the, the big one that I remember, it was the, that that the the chunk that was always together was uh, Married with Children, Martin, uh, Simpsons. And in Living Color, because I remember when Living Color came would come on, I usually had to like go to bed shortly. Was that nine thirty? Yeah, I because I was... I had to, my bedtime was nine, so I watched yeah. Mary with Children and The Simpsons because I think The Simpsons came out at eight. Yeah, Mary with Children, and then or maybe Martin was before this. I I forget, but I remember I used to watch Martin, and, and then Martin was I thought was funny, but I didn't. I only watched the first couple seasons because then afterwards, I ended up getting like. Uh, I think it was like Cartoon Network, and then I could watch cartoons whenever. Mm-hmm. You know, because that was a big thing. Because yeah. cartoons, Nickelodeon didn't always play cartoons, right. especially back then. Maybe you get like Saturdays, you get some cartoons. Do you remember like, uh, Nickel- uh, Red and Stimpy and shit? I think it was Sunday nights on Nickelodeon. They had like kids' news. Yes, and I hated that? it. That was always the last one before they went to Nick at night. And I yeah. was like, nope, I'm out of this. I'm going to watch Simpsons. I would watch it once in a while. I remember like, I, but I remember not liking it. I, was I, like, eh. I watched the one about AIDS when Magic Johnson got AIDS. They had a whole special on it, and mm-hmm. it was all these kids asking whatever that lady was that hosted it yeah. about AIDS. And they're like, oh, can I get it when I'm like giving someone a hug? And she's like, no, of course not. I guess it's very difficult to get it um, in regular vaginal sex. Well, yeah, because it's it's the it's typically like it's like damn near impossible because to get the it. blood has right. to exchange. So what ends up happening is it's usually if it's come if it's through sex. From what I understand, there's two areas because where there's typically blood that will mix anal because you right. can bleed a little bit if it's stretched out too much, uh, and also. Uh, sometimes even with oral because maybe you brush your teeth too yeah. hard that day. Maybe you flossed a little yeah. bit, you got some blood in there. So th- those two, those two areas are. I mean, mostly, well, it's, it's mostly anal from what right. I understand. I mean, that's just like, you know, and blood transfusions yeah. you could do that or or drugs. Yeah, you know. So and so it'd be yeah. I remember when people would be like Magic Johnson. Here's the thing though, Magic Johnson. Maybe he was just doing steroids. Maybe you know. Maybe he was on roids. I mean, he was already a big dude. It'd be kind of weird for a basketball player, but to do roids. Yeah. They, that, that doesn't work so much? Yeah. Uh, it Back then, it was basically baseball, and I could see football because it's more, you know, contact. Okay. Basketball. No. Basketball, I think, would be so kind of rare. If, he was just putting but, I mean, someone's I, butt. Yeah. You think he was just, I mean, it could have been a chick's butt. No, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the same thing with Easy e Yeah. Well, he was just... Or Suge Knight just put him... Yeah, popped him with AIDS. Yeah, which is crazy because he... I think... I honestly think... My theory is Suge Knight gave Easy E AIDS because because he I think he can basically confess to it on Jimmy Kimmel yeah. years ago. Yeah, like that's a hard clip to find, but you can it, find it. Yeah. yeah, and he was like, "Yeah, man, you could just you." I don't even know how it came up, right? And I don't even know why he had Suge Knight come on. Like no. at that time, Suge Knight was not even relevant. No. Like, why the fuck did Jimmy Kimmel? Of all people, have Suge Knight on. Yeah. Like, what did he have yeah, to say? Yeah, because he uh, like, you know, it, didn't he say something like, "It's easy to kill someone. You just give him that easy." Yeah. Some shit like yeah, that. and Wait, he expl- what? he's like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah," he explains it, and he was like, "I was like, man, I was like, what? What a weird combination. Like, how?" Especially after watching like Straight Outta Compton, like yeah. all the. the well, speed, there's whatever. a scene where they when they beat him yeah. up to get to get Dre out of the contract. Yep. That he's like, um, it's over here. That he's like, uh, yeah, you're gonna something like, you're not gonna be the same after this, or you're yeah. gonna be a changed man, or something like that. But so. anyway, how are you gonna end this? Oh, we're going on tangents oh, again. Yeah, so I was just saying, I haven't been, I haven't been sleeping, and I've been really like out of it last few days. But this moment, I could feel the magic tonight that we put here and recorded. The magic Johnson. This magic is moment. in this episode this because it felt moment. like it was only seconds, and we've actually been here yeah. for an hour and a half. So, 
And, uh, you know, usually we come up with a couple topics. I mean, we yeah. did today and yeah. one we didn't even get to because I was going to talk about my Atlantic City trip. But sometimes, you know, just not being prepared is the best way to prepare. It is. Sometimes you got to know when to hold them. And know when to fold them. You yep. So until next time. I am Bobby Caboose. This is Melvin Troy. We are the 64-Bit Legends. Check us out on all social medias. Check uh, out, um, what is it, twitch.tv slash Melvin Troy. Yep. Uh, now you got the O in there, right? Yeah, they got the just regular so, spelling. Yep. You know, check him out on uh, the, the stream. I'll hopefully return soon. Yes. But until next time, what you going to do, brother, when the 64-Bit Legends?